Hello everyone, you're welcome to Mathematics Tour. This is question 6 of the Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics written in May June 2024. If this is the first video you are seeing in the playlist, please kindly check my YouTube channel. There is a playlist there titled IGCSE Mathematics Paper 4 to May June 2024. There are five videos for questions one two three four and five respectively if you are seeing this channel for the first time please kindly subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button also hit the notification bell to receive a notification anytime i upload a new video like comment and share this video question six a b c D is a collateral with AB equals to 10.4 centimeters and AD equals to 6.5 centimeters. Angle DAB equals to 64 degrees. Angle BDC equals to 26 degrees. And angle DBC equals to 42 degrees. Show that BD equals to 9.55 centimeters, correct to two decimal places. So let's look into the line BD this is line BD so we can draw this triangle ABD so let's draw this out okay or uh, better still we can still use it like this from ABD so we have this angle here so we can use cosine rule because we want to find uh, BD okay so let's say uh, using cosine rule okay I think I can write here Okay, because I want to see the diagram, so let's write here. Okay, so we can say that uh, B D squared equals to that's the side we want to get to be equals to A B squared plus A D squared minus two into A B. Okay, then into A D put a d here okay then multiplied by cos a okay so b d squared will be equals to uh we have 10.4 squared plus 6.5 squared minus 2 into 10.4 okay so into okay let's use multiplied by um 6.5 then multiply by cos 64 okay so if you input this into your calculator straight away so the value of b d squared will be equals to 91.142 okay then if you take square root of both sides so b d will be equals to square root of 91.142 then B D finally will be 9.55 centimeters. So that is what we are asked to do. Okay, so if you want to, so don't forget, I said I chose to write it here to solve it here because of the diagram. So if uh, you are solving it in the exam, so you are expected to write it here. Okay, so B one figure one show that angle. BCD is equals to 112 degrees. Okay, look at this angle BCD. Okay, so this angle, so it will be one angle BCD will be equals to 180 minus 42 minus 40 minus 42 minus 26. Okay, so we can write it here. So angle BCD equals to 180 degrees minus 26 minus 42. And this will give us 112 degrees okay so we have got to calculate cd okay calculate cd so we want to calculate this one so i can draw out this triangle here okay because it's not be easy navigating up and down so let's try to draw it here so we have something like this we have something like um, let me see how it looks Okay, good. Okay, then you can just have something like this as well. Okay, so let's redraw it. 
Okay, so let the first one be like this. Then you should have something like this. And finally, let's have something like this. Okay, so we can label this to be accordingly. This will be B, this will be C, and this will be D. So we want to find uh, CD, that is this side. Okay, so if this is angle B, so this can be side B. So this is angle C, this will be side C. And this will be side D, respectively. Okay, so um, don't forget from the diagram. So we know that this uh, place is 112, 26, and 42, respectively. So let's put the angles. So here we have 26, here you have 42, and here you have 112. Okay, so we can use um, sign rule here. So since we're looking for uh, this particular, uh, we're looking for C, D. So that means we're looking for B. So we can, and we have, um, let's see. Okay, this B, D. We calculated B, D to be equals to 9.55. Okay, so B, D. So that is this one c is equals to 9.55 okay so using sine rule so we can say that uh, c over sine c equals to b over sine b so the value of uh, side c is 9.55 over sine so angle c is one one two and equals to b that's what we're looking for then sine b equals to 42 okay so if you let's demarcate this like this so if you cross multiply see that you have b sine 112 equals to 9.55 times sine 42 so you can divide both sides by sine 112 okay by sine 112 so this we cancel this we're left with b equals to 9.55 times sine 42 over uh sorry this should be uh sine 112 so let me write this very well sine 112 okay divided by sine 112 okay so if you input this into your calculator so you should get the value of b to be approximately 6.89 okay so that means cd is equals to 6.89 so let's look into part c part c find the shortest distance from d to a b Let's look into the diagram. So the shortest distance from D to AB will be this from here like this. So that will be the shortest uh, distance from D to AB. So we need to draw this triangle ABD. So let's do this from here. So we can draw something like this. Then something like this. And finally, let's join this together. Okay. This will be point A. This will be point D. And this will be point B. So this is the shortest distance from D to AB. So which is the height. Okay. So what we can do now is to make use of the formula that is the area of um a triangle okay will be equals to something like base times height over two okay so once we know the area we know the base we can get the value of this height okay so let's complete the diagram side a d is equals to 6.5 and a b is equals to 10.4 so it means here we have 6.5 Okay, and AB will be 10.4. Okay, so since we don't have the value of the area, so we can calculate the area by using the uh, formula uh, that is 
uh, these two sides the product of these two sides sine okay the angle this should be angle 60 you see 64 okay 64 degrees okay so we can use this formula uh, this times this times sine 64 divided by 2 to get the area so you can easily do that yeah okay so let's calculate the area so the area is equals to that's the formula it will be 6.5 times 10.4 times sine 64 everything over 2 okay so uh, i want to be sure you know this uh, formula it's just like when you have something like uh, area is equals to uh, a times b sine c over 2 okay something like this okay so that's what i try to use there so if you input this into your calculator you should get the value of a to be equals to 30.379 so this is not the end of the solution so don't approximate here okay so you don't approximate at the middle of the solution so let's divide this into two now we can now key in the value so you can say uh, this formula now you can say a is equals to 30.379 equals to the base the base is this now okay so that is the 10.4 okay 10.4 times the height over 2 so if we uh, cross multiply like this so that would be 30.379 times 2 that will give us 60 point seven five eight it will be equals to 10.4 each so if you divide both sides by 10.4 divide this by 10.4 so this will cancel this we are left with h so if you input this into your calculator so the value of h will be equals to 5.84 centimeters so we have 5.84 centimeters okay so in the so next video i will solve question seven until then have your fingers crossed